Hi, thanks for joining me. This is your reading for Wednesday, the 18th of February, 2015. Let us have a look, see at what's coming up for you today. I'm going to continue to use the uh, Tarot of the Animals, or the, uh, what's it called? The Tarot of the Animal Lords. There we go. Let's see what they say. Okay, so this is a really bright day, first of all. If you're an aspiring tarot reader, the, the reason I say that is look at the colors here. We've got lots of yellow, we've got energy, we've got blue skies, we've got movement, and we've got positivity and energy. Okay, so the first card is the Hierophant in reverse. It's a beautiful image there with that um, antler and the bird sitting on the antler. Now, very interesting stave or rot there. It's in reverse. So the Hierophant, the right way around is about resorting to things that you don't like out of a sense of fear. It's in reverse. So what that's saying is you're busting out of fear mode. And have a look at yesterday's reading because yesterday's reading was all about um, being fearful and not doing what it is you want. So there's a real theme of I'm not going to compromise anymore and I'm going to do what I'm here for. I'm not going to worry about the fearful factors of the world. And I'm going to live my purpose. The next card is the Queen of Wands, which really emphasizes that message. Queen of Wands, the salamander there, the animal, the lizard of fire, of passion, of creativity. We've got her wearing some har is it harem pants, um, kind of the dancer outfit, because dancing is an expression of joy and love and creativity. The rod, growth, expansion, creativity, and that little bird there of music of inspiration, of creativity again. So really, you're not scared anymore and you're tapping into your own um, creative self. Now, just this example, it could be that there's something really, um, you know, some things are scary to follow. Some paths are scary to follow. Um, I've always loved the tarot and I've always loved divination tools. Um, it took me a while to come out of the spiritual closet, so to speak. I found it scary to tell people at the post office or at dinner parties that I'm a tarot reader, astrologer, because people are like, well, they have no understanding of that. And then, first of all, I'd have to go um, into a big, long explanation. Other people are very opinionated, and I didn't really um, welcome, you know, I'm not an educator. If you believe that um, what I'm doing is evil or whatever, it's not, I don't feel it's my job to educate you on that. And I didn't really want that coming up every time I had a social interaction. So those are the kind of things you have to face sometimes. Um, and it took me a while to come out because of that. Um, let's say you're, you're a, 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 I don't know, let's say you're a Catholic girl from Sicily and you were brought up in a nunnery, but your dream is to become a harem dancer in a belly dancing club. I don't know, you know, I'm just throwing that out there. It might be quite difficult for you to explain that to your family. So don't give yourself a hard time because it's scary, but just realize that your dream is a big ask. And sometimes it takes a while. But you're not scared on this day anymore, so that's great. And this image is wonderful too. This is the chariot. Wow, usually it's um, it's a, literally a chariot with someone kind of riding it and it's being pulled by two sphinxes. This is amazing. This is a giant swan and this bird riding the, riding the swan to victory here. It's in reverse. And what that means is you're not, gonna, you're not going to have to will your, and, and push yourself and drive yourself to make this happen. It just happens organically. You just feel it's like sticky tape. The sticky tape has become worn and it doesn't stick anymore. And you don't feel like you have to resort to fear. You're just not buying it anymore. Sometimes things that keep us trapped for years, just after a while, they just go pop and you see that it's no good. <laughs> you just wake up and you just say, I'm not going to do that anymore. And that's really what I feel for you on this day. Isn't that great? Life is really difficult at times. Okay, I don't care what anyone says about that, but life can be really, really tough. And it's important to bring some light into that toughness. And the light comes via your unique and special purpose. That's what really lights up the world. Everyone just being a robot and going, doing something they don't want. Look at the faces of people who do that. They're, they're often gray, they're often unhappy looking, and they're often ill. 
the way to bring our spirit into this world is to listen to that inner light and to do what it is we're meant to do and not to give in to the fears and all of that stuff. Five, six, and seven is 13, one and three is four, and four is about foundation, security, and stability. You have foundation, security, and stability by following your own dreams and desires, not someone else's idea of, here, let's give you $500 a month, see how you go, and work 40 hours a week. That is not your purpose. Have a great day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website, gregoryscott.com. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.